Good morning guys. It is really morning and uh, what I'm going to be doing is some sort of a abstracty thing. I've had some uh, ideas and I thought I'd try them out. Now I didn't video yesterday because I'm not having a good week but what else is new so um I thought I'd just take the day off, do something nothing like nothing, and uh, that's going to work out. So what I'm going to do is, and you're probably wondering why, why I'm not having a good week. I had my annual PET scan, and it's freaking me out a little bit. Like um, when <laughs> when I was under the that machine thing. I really flipped. <laughs> that was really stupid. But I uh, I shouted. I said, I want to get out of here. Yeah. So they let me out. And then they talked to me and they said, yeah, but you know, you have to do this. And then they put me around the other way and that really helped. So um, first I was, let's see, what I, what was I? Oh yeah. First it was feet first and now I had my head first and that sort of makes a difference because that way your head is out faster. So, uh, well that was it. It was kind of scary. I had a panic attack. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get a sort of a, a little gradient going on as you can see. And uh, on top of that, I'm, I, I had this idea to, uh, I should have done this differently. <laughs> I'm making a big mess out of it, but it doesn't matter. We'll get there. So this is just the, uh, the background color that I'm uh, mixing up right now. I'll just put it up, um, otherwise it's going to take way too long. And then I'm going to have a couple of colors and I'm going to, with a stick, I'm going to, uh, popsicle stick, I'm going to put a pattern on this paper. But I had these nice lines as you can see, now i am completely lost the lines, so I don't know where I am. Oh boy. So maybe if I use this one, do this one a little neater. And it doesn't matter. Like Barbara says, we don't make mistakes, we make happy little accidents. Right? So I'm going to put that one up here. I do like when the, uh, when the linen structure of the paper peeks through. I kind of like that. A little bit dark. But it does have to be covered. You don't want to see those little holes in it. I think that's okay. Sure, that's there. Okay, the other one. And these are, are going to be uh, pretty much the same, so you can hang them next to each other. And I know how much you guys always like to see the end result, so I'm going to show you the end result when I frame them. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I like that. That's nice and wild. But I really want a little bit more darker on top and a little bit more uh, a little bit more light on the bottom. So we'll just put that over there. If I still know where the uh, lines are. Like that. Yeah. Maybe up here, like that. Okay, now I have to clean off my brush a little bit and get some lighter color in it and then fade it out just a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Oh, that's nice. 
I like that even better. It goes like that. Okay, we're going to give this a, a little dry. Might put a little bit more paint on it, so don't don't freak out when we come back and it's dry and it's a little bit different. Because I'm just trying to get that look that I'm looking for. Yeah, this one too. Okay, that looks kind of the same. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It's dry. And um, what I did is I put some colors in line. So this is gold. This is uh, Prussian blue. This is a color I made myself, very light blue. This is a turquoise color and again gold. Now I have cut down the popsicle stick uh, that I sh I'm sure that I have some space on top, some space at the bottom. And all I want to do is press that little popsicle stick into the paint and just put one down here like that. And then just repeat. So we're going to put one down here and we're going to make it go up and down a little bit. So one down here. And I'm doing it really fast right now, but I would normally, I would do it really slow, make sure that they all connect. Because now I'm not getting any blue. Let's see. Putting it up here. Now what you can always do is get a little brush and put your colors on and help it along a little bit. You know, if you really don't want to miss that color. So I'm going to put that down here. <clears throat> now this is going to take a while to dry because... Um, where did I get that? I don't know. So um, it's going to take longer because the paint, what I'm putting on, is of course pretty thick. And I just don't know why the dark blue doesn't get there. There's a lot on it. Going back up again. Just making these splotchy patterns. That's really all it is. I'll have to fill that in. I don't know why that is. Let me clean up my little sticky. Let's take a new one. Oh, I think I know what it is. The thickness of that paint is different. The other ones are all f a little bit fluid and the dark blue one isn't. Yeah, it's working out. You'll get the idea. You know, when I do it for myself, I, I take a, a lot more time to uh, make something uh, out of it. So I'm going to fill that in in a bit. But I kind of like how the gold is on the bottom here. I do have a couple that didn't take. So I like that. It gives that, you know, look of sort of distressed look. And I kind of like that. So let's fill this in a little bit. I keep watching that I'm not blocking your view. And I'll take uh, another one, a little stick, and I'll make the patterns in it. And of course you could do this with a, with a paintbrush. Like it's not that you have to use a stick. You don't have to. So let's get that in there. Now I've got a lot on it. There it goes. And still it's not taken. I don't know why that is. This is pretty.
Okie dokie. I will have to do one more, I think, just to be on the safe side that we're getting the coverage up to the line. And that looks cute. Okay, that's number two. Just a little touch up here and there. There you go. That's it. Now I'll do the other one and I will show it to you when it's framed. Okay guys, I'm back and uh, I've let it dry and I cleaned the little window thingies. So there it goes. Then we're gonna put the mat in there. That's the little mat. And then we're gonna put the painting in with the dark side up. And the back, zip. There we go. And then we have, well, you can't see it, but it's wood colored. So there we have our two little cute little paintings. Maybe if I put a piece of paper under it, you can see that it is wood. Nah, not so much. But it's uh, a wood colored frame. And uh, as you can see, we have the dark on top. We have the, the paint and the light on the bottom. And if you want to, you could do it like that. If you want to hang them. That kind of looks cute too. So that's it. That was my little project. And I think it looks <coughs> kind of nice. You might even want to add something uh, on top of this. But you know, you could go each way. You could put a little glitter on or you could put a little bit more gold on. Whatever you really want. And uh, that's it. So these are the two little you could set them down. I think I'd hang them. You can hang these or you can set them up. But e either way, they look cute. Don't you think? Okay, guys. Uh, I was going to show you. I, I did fool around with a little bit of paint. And this is one of them. And this is really dramatic. But... Even when I, um, the paint is still wet, as you can see there, so I can't do anything with it. But I was looking to make it big enough to put in one of these little frames. But I'm not sure about that. It does look kind of interesting. I did do another, which I did really like. This one's with gold in it, as you can see. The gold. And I'm just thinking what I can do with these, because I really think they're interesting. But to make little beetles out of all of them, well, maybe I'll just do one. I might just put it on a, let's see, on a back, black background or something like that. That really pops off there. But then I have a black mat, then it's going to be too dark. Nah, we have to think about that. But uh, I just might cut it out. See, I think this is dry. What I do is just, you know, put it up to the light so I can see where the, uh, where it goes. Let's see, do I have a pencil anywhere near here? Nope, I don't. I'll have to cut it freehand. I can do that. Let's see. If I were to cut it like this, and then later really cut it. Okay, that looks okay. That has to be a little bit more round. Then it sort of looks like a bug. Maybe just a little bit down here. Up here. Okay, that looks like a bug. Yeah. 
got to take all the white off or it doesn't look good. Let's see. Eh, that's pretty much. That would look good. See that? And then put a little, put those little legs on. I'm just thinking about something that I can do with all these. Just not making insects all the time. Because that'd be really too much. We'll see. We'll think about it. So thanks for watching, guys. And um, I might take a, a while off. I'm not sure. It depends on the uh, <coughs> what comes out of the PET scan. Who knows? But if it's good news, you'll see me next week. If it's bad news, I'm going to take a break. And uh, you'll see me when you see me. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.